Prefabrication makes building erection faster and more efficient. So this video is inspired by a service we rendered to one of the local designer engineers. He wanted to instruct the manufacturer to produce concrete products for his project and relying only on technical information was not enough to communicate his idea and intention. So we produced a 3D visual constructed prefab representation of his instructions to the manufacturer. So I decided to make a video to share the skills and stages we went through upon assisting this engineer. We are going to do this by producing a prefab concrete column and foot in detail with Akiken. So there are different approaches to this operation. So if you have one um, approach, go to comment section now, join for discussion. Make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell for more valuable videos like this one. The video is in five parts uh, based on the components that assemble the structure that we're going to look at. So we've got the footing with base plate connection, the reinforcement bars for this footing, and then we've got concrete column that has corner pockets, plate, and anchor bars. There's also reinforcement bars for this column. We've got bolts, nuts, and washers for the base plate connection. So these are the dimensions of the structure that we're going to look at. It's a 460 by 460 square concrete footing and a column connected with steel base plate. So let's start first by looking at the footing. We used a slab tool to build the square concrete footing. I have prepared a favorite for that with predefined dimensions. The slab footing has a mouth for tongue connection of the column. So we need another piece of a slab that will define the position and the size of the mouth, then subtract and hide that piece. So another component is the reinforcement bars of this footing. We virtually produced a design of footing concrete reinforcement. We produced a visual appealing presentation for for the rebars in the concrete block and played around with transparency of concrete material to nicely reveal the reinforcement type and how it's going to be positioned. We used the EPTA reinforcement tool to carry out this operation. It is a powerful tool for making the reinforcement of a concrete. EPTA develops tools for BIM software that enables you to carry some operations that are not possible to perform in these softwares that I find amazing. I provided a link in the description to download the tool. In the after reinforcement library, they have three objects for you to construct the reinforcement. The single rebars, series of bars, and reinforcement stirrups. If you select one of these, there are quite many good features here to construct your reinforcement. Let's throw one in the space and see what we can produce. Um, so. For you to construct a complete reinforcement, we need both bars and stirrups. If you go to objects under EPTA reinforcement library, let's pick uh, the stirrup and check the settings. We have an ID, a diameter of the member, the weight as kg per meter, the position for the orientation, the views of applying the annotation in the plan view. The last section we're going to look at, it is under placement. This is with to do with how many items and at what distance do you want to place them. I will choose my placement based on the stirrups distance and number. So it's going to be three of stirrup spacing at 100 millimeters distance, then OK and place the object. Then check on the 3D. These are the items that hold together the whole reinforcement. So we need vertical bars to complete our reinforcement. Back in the object library, let's pick the rebars and check the settings. The first page has the same features as the stirrup, the ID, rebar diameter and others. The interesting part is the geometry section where you have the rebar size and type, which is a list of variations for different situations. 
there is a type of polygons on how you can treat your, your riba heads. We have another component which is the base plate. The base plate with holding down bolts, nuts and washers, and a steel metal plate to form a base connection of the holding down the prefab column. The plate was made up of a slab tool with steel structural material that welded into the bolts to form part of the reinforcement. Bolts are objects from beam components library. You can just search from the library and download straight into the library. It's a free object. If you check the settings, there are dimensions panel, but if you go to options, you have washers and nuts parameters to choose type. Let's go to all parameters to change the angle to 270 degrees, meaning the bolt will be vertical. Another component is column. The concrete column has four corner pockets with anchor bars welded to the base plate. This base plate is equal in size of the column. So the base plate was formed with the slab, with steel material and bolt welded on the top to join the reinforcement bars. It's made up of six bars and stirrups to hold together the reinforcement. And all this was put together to form a complete structure. Thank you guys for watching. I thought this was useful and needed to share with you. Make sure you subscribe and comment to discuss or ask questions if you want me to clarify something. Just anything guys about this video. Cheers.